how to clear or delete Putty's cached SSH host keys in Windows 11's registry editor. As you can see, I'm currently on my server host provider's dashboard. This is the server that I'm going to be connecting to using Putty via the SSH protocol. The server host provider I'm using is called DigitalOcean, and this is my referral link. If you also want to spin up a DigitalOcean server, use this referral link and you'll get $200 in free DigitalOcean cloud credits. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy the IP address of my server, and I'm going to connect to my server via SSH for the very first time. So you can see Putty's cache prompt when you first connect to your server. In the host name section, I'm just going to paste in the IP address and I'm going to click on open. And as you can see, because this is my first time logging into my server, I'm greeted with a Putty security alert, which says the server's host key is not cached in the registry. You have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is. So you have a couple of options. You can either accept for Putty to cache the server's host key in your Windows registry. You can connect once without any cache or you can cancel. Most likely you clicked on accept and now Putty will cache your server's host key. I'm now going to log into my server. So I'm just going to enter in the details and then I'm going to put in my password. So I'm just going to right click to paste in my password. Great, now I've connected to my server. Now I'm going to close out of the Putty terminal window here and I'm now going to connect to my server once again and we will now no longer be prompted with Putty to cache our server's host key to the register anymore because it's already done. Now you know your server's SSH host key is cached. So I'm just going to close out of the putty terminal window here to be taken back to my desktop. So to clear or delete putty's cached SSH host keys for your server and all other servers, what you'll first need to do is navigate to your taskbar at the bottom left hand corner and click on search and search for the following registry editor. Once you've searched for registry editor, the best match should be the registry editor app. Look to the right hand side and click on open. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with the user account control. Simply click on yes. If you want to open the registry editor, maximize the registry editor window once it opens. In your registry editor, look for where it says H key underscore current underscore user. Click on the arrow next to it. Once you've done that, look for where it says software and click on the arrow next to it. Once you've done that, look for where it says Simon Tatham. You may need to scroll down to find it if you have a lot of apps. Once you've located it, click on the arrow next to it. You should then see Putty. Click on the arrow next to Putty. Under Putty, you'll then see three options. Jump list, sessions, SSH host keys. We want SSH host keys, so simply click on SSH host keys. Once you've done that, on the right hand side, you should see all of Putty's cached SSH host keys for all the servers which you have allowed Putty to cache. I only have one server that I would like to delete the SSH host key for, and it is this one here. If you wanted to clear all of Putty's SSH host keys, simply left click and drag to highlight all the SSH host keys, and then right click on any of the highlighted SSH host keys and click on delete. I don't want to delete the default SSH host key, so I'm just going to click on the white area here to unhighlight everything, and I'm going to select the SSH host key that I would like to to delete. I'm going to right click on it and then click on delete. You'll then be greeted with this window which says confirm value delete. Deleting a certain registry values could cause system instability. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this value? You have the option to click on yes or no. I'm going to click on yes. And then as you can see, my desired cached SSH host key has been deleted from Putty's cache. You can now close out of the registry editor app. And now if we connect back to our server via SSH using Putty, we should again be greeted with the notification from Putty asking us if we want to cache this server's SSH host key. So I'm going to double click on Putty once again to open it. I'm going to paste in my server IP address into the hostname section, and then I'm going to click on open. And as you can see, we are indeed greeted with Putty security alert once again, which is exactly the notification you would get if you are connecting to your server for the very first time via SSH or upon successful clearing or deletion of your server's cached SSH host keys. So again, we're greeted with the server's host key is not cached in this registry. You have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is. So you can click on accept to cache it, connect once without caching your server's host key, or you can cancel the connection. I don't want Putty to cache this host key, so I'm simply going to click on connect once. And all that's left to do now is to enter the login details of your server to connect to it via SSH. And there we go, guys. We have successfully logged into our server via SSH. We have successfully cleared all of Putty's cached SSH host keys, and we've connected to our server once again without caching our SSH host key within Putty. And that now concludes the video on how to clear or delete Putty's cached SSH host keys in Windows 11's registry editor. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so high?